Hey guys, Suka here. Welcome to another video on the One Tap Valorant channel. Today, I'll be going over some essential tips on how to attack on a set. In this guide, I'll be going over some suggested agents for the map and how to execute and hold on each site. This guide will have a few agent specific strats, however, will mostly be generalized strats to help you get the most impact in your attacking half, no matter which agent you're playing. Before going over guides for each site, Let's look at some suggested agents for this map that will be strong on both sides. However, I'll be focusing more on what makes them strong specifically on the attacking side in this video. Sova is strong on this map as the open spaces on sides and in mid make darts super strong and very effective at helping your team gather info and execute onto sites. Killjoy is strong for this map as her turret is good at holding flanks and her mollies can also be used as post plant utility as there's many lineups for tons of different plant spots. Her ult is also very strong at opening up sites for executes and denying retakes. Omen is strong for this map because the range of his smokes allows him to lurk for kills while still supporting his team. His ult is also really effective here as there's a couple spots you can TP where the enemy team most likely won't hear you. Sky is strong on this map for similar reasons to Sova. The wide open space makes her flashes really effective and her dog is great at entering into sites for the team. When executing onto A site, you need to be very careful of the defender trying to peek main for a quick first blood. This can very easily be countered by any sort of flash or something like a sofa drone or sky dog. Having some sort of info gatherer is very good for pushing into the site. The heavy left and right angles straight outside of the choke point can be very hard to push through, so having something that clears those angles for you is super helpful for your team. And then they can focus on the site itself. Using something like Sova Dart or Drone, Fade Eye, Sky Dog can be used to clear these angles. After gathering this info, it's a good idea to flash onto the site before using a full execute. There are two main plant spots for A site. The first one here is considered the default plant. This gen plant has lots of cover from anyone peek in heaven and it's harder for the defenders on short, assuming the door has been broken, to peek you while you're planting. Planting here also allows someone to play around gen for time if the defenders are able to push onto site. The second plant option is in the middle of dice right here. This plant leaves you a little bit more open to defenders peaking or utility, but this plant is generally much better than gen if you can safely get this plant down. This plant is much easier to play post plant on as it is easier for players in main to peak when the defender tries to defuse. Post plants on a site can be a little weird because it can be very easy for defenders to pressure you off of the site. However, setting up effective crossfires with your team can be incredibly strong at denying sight from the defenders. There are two versions of the heaven crossfire that you can hold. This first one here is having both of you playing under heaven. This option is usually the safer one if you don't have another teammate keeping the short push in check. This hold from both sides allows you to see the defenders jump off of heaven and take the fights before they are ready to shoot back. This angle is also a strong setup because defenders don't usually expect two players to be under heaven. The stronger crossfire is when both of you play just next to heaven, like this. Both players can easily shoot any defenders that try to jump onto site, and the player holding from gen side can easily kill any defenders that push far heaven towards the boxes where their teammate is holding from. Putting down smokes on A site is super easy. Your first smoke should go up heaven, as this is the first angle your team will be visible from if the defenders haven't smoked the choke point. Your second smoke should always go on the door. This smoke allows one of your teammates to push towards the switch and close the door to keep cover on the site. Personally, I find that it's most common for defenders to peek through both of these smokes compared to any other site on all of the maps, so you still need to be careful of those smoke pushes, just in case. If you're playing Brimstone, you have the option of using two smokes in heaven on a push to deny all peaks from defenders that aren't already on the site. You can also do the same thing as Omen if you have teammates that have control of Garden already. When executing onto B site, it's important to make sure your team is all ready for the execute before you push. Personally, I find this site a little bit harder to execute onto than A site. It's also common for the defenders to have their sentinel set up on B site. There are many angles you are visible from when you are peeking from the choke point, so it's super important to use your team's utility to pressure defenders off of these angles before pushing into the site. I find plant spots a little weird on this site. I very rarely see people planting the same spots for this site, but the general area for planting is back site over here, either right near one of the boathouse entrances or next to the boxes in the middle of the site. 
Planting in any of these areas is good, as most attackers usually play on site for part post plants anyway. Sometimes I find people have lineups for this site as well, so if you have a teammate that does, it's super important to plant in the spot for them. As I said, post plants are mostly played on this site anyway, and this is because there are tons of different crossfires you can play with the rest of your team. It's super common to play in boathouse in the back and have a teammate playing on the box. This is because the two spots defenders can execute onto site from can very easily be held, especially with your utility. The two smokes that need to always go down are on market and CT. The first smoke should always go down onto market to stop defenders trying to make a pick before you're able to execute. Then after that market smoke, you need to smoke CT. Ascent has the easiest smokes to put down for both sites as they're always going down on the exact same spots all the time. Taking control of mid can be incredibly strong for the attacker side. Mid offers so many different options for the attackers to play from that defenders are forced to split their holds even more than usual. More often than not, defenders like trying to keep mid control in check, so it's super important to use your team's utility to force them out of their hold or kill them to open up some space. The most common area for defenders to peek from is short, so it's a good idea to have a smoke down here whenever your team wants to take space in mid. Mid is also incredibly strong for lurks. You can easily take the space through mid as someone like Omen, who can easily use his smokes to give himself space and push through to other areas of the map. Having a good lurk in mid can get you some very easy kills and apply tons of pressure to defenders. Sometimes you only need to play the lurk until you get that first pick. Even backing up to regroup with your team after the kill can make defenders play much more carefully as they will be worrying about your lurk still being behind them while they focus on retaking whichever site it is you have planted on. It can also be very effective to play heavy mid as a default. If you have one player watching the pushes from both sites and the remaining three players make pressure in mid, pressure like this can tempt defenders to push up from their site and try to get a flank in. Being ready to get this kill can mean your team have an opening into a site, but can also force the defenders to rotate from wherever they are holding to where you just got the kill, thinking that you are going to auto-rotate to that site yourself. You can turn this mid pressure into a site push very easily by rotating one of the site push players to the site you're wanting to push, so your B site to A if you push an A or your A site to B if you want to push B. When they make pressure in main, the mid players can start their push up either A short or into market to pincer the opponents and take control very, very easily. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned anything helpful and like to see more videos from me on this channel, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll answer them for you. See you guys in the next video, goodbye.